In today's lesson, we are going to go over the articles a and an and quantifiers such as many, a few, much. To complete today's lesson, you will need the note-taking sheet, a highlighter and a pen. Both articles and quantifiers describe nouns. So first, we will review some information that you may or may not know about nouns. There are two types of nouns in English. They are countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns that you can count, such as flowers, apples and houses. They can be singular, such as a flower, one flower, an apple, one apple, a house, one house. We often use a or an in front of a singular noun to show that it is one. Countable nouns can be singular or plural. If a noun begins with a vowel, which is a, e, i, o or u, then a singular noun often has an in front of it. But if it begins with a consonant, then it has an a in front of it. There are a few, but not many, words that do not follow this rule. For example, we should use a in front of university, even though it starts with u, which is a vowel. In addition, our starts with a consonant, but we use an in front of it instead of a. However, if it is a plural, it does not have an or an a. So, an apple becomes apples, an egg becomes eggs, an umbrella becomes umbrellas, an onion becomes onions, an igloo becomes igloos, a day becomes days, a boy becomes boys, A party becomes parties. Countable nouns can also be made plural with the following quantifiers. Many or a few. For example, a few students or a few boxes. Uncountable nouns are nouns that you can't count, such as time money and music. You do not use a or an with uncountable nouns, but they act like singular nouns. However, it is possible to count some uncountable nouns, but you will need to add a quantifier. So if you want to count liquids such as water, juice or milk, you would say, can I have a glass of water or can I have a glass of juice? You could also say, I want a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. You can count other liquids like perfume and you could say, I want a bottle of perfume. Another way to make uncountable nouns seem plural is by adding the words much and a little. So, for example, a little salt or not much money. I have just one more point I would like to explain how to use some or any with countable and uncountable nouns. You can use some with plural or uncountable nouns. So, some pencils, pencils is countable, it can be counted, one pencil, 
two pencils, etc. You can use any with questions or negative sentences when using plural or uncountable nouns. So, an example of a negative sentence might be I don't have any money or she doesn't have any brothers or sisters. Money is an uncountable noun, but brothers and sisters are plural countable nouns. Some can be used in a question, but usually when you expect the answer to be yes to a request such as, can I have some ketchup? Can I have some paper? All of this information can be found in the table. Here is where you will need your highlighter and your pen. Let's look at the sentences on your note-taking sheet. Each sentence has a mistake. Let's work together to see if we can find the mistakes. Sentence 1. I have an apples. What's the problem with this sentence? Look at apples. Is it singular or plural? It's plural, so it doesn't need an in front of it. Sentence 2. I don't have many information. Information is not countable, so we should use much instead of many in the negative. And this is the end of the lesson on articles and nouns. Remember, you can watch this video as many times as you like. Good luck with your studies and goodbye for now.